I'm out in the Adirondacks of New York. At a lake placed off the side of some highway of Route 9. And there's an otter out here, huffing and puffing, swimming through some chilled water. By lilies. That I believe if Monet was around today, I'd be inclined to paint them. For their beauty is vast. To see something that others have seen, that they have painted pictures of, wrote it, written poetry of, absorbed in a type of way that is only compared to reflection and appreciation. I believe it ties souls to souls, a connectivity that is only comparable to that of which humans are able to relate to. It is this great and large, magnificent beauty that illuminates the greatness of human life, the blessing of generations in history, the desire for greatness and to be recognized. While still tasting the bittersweet acceptance that not all will be recognized or perceived as great. But truly, I tell you, even that otter out there that swam just moments before us in this unknown lake off of Highway 9 in the Adirondacks of New York was great and is great. Not all of us will be famous. Not all of us will have stories that are told by vast amounts of people. But all of us are recognized. Do you know what you're recognized for? Probably not. None of us can. But we are being recognized. And we have an opportunity to do our best to present what we see as a gem inside of ourselves. And those gems that sparkle bright as diamonds and gold are more precious than any, any riches that a man can buy. It is your honor, your nobility, your love, your humanity under God. This is why I love to live. The opportunity to soak it all in and to choose what I choose. This spot is right Because I recognize it and I enjoy it. There's a philosopher that says, I think, therefore I am. Quite profound. And as a person that borderlines on the edge of insanity on a regular basis, I can tell you that it's given me peace. For sometimes, I forget that I think. And so, who am I? If this is all a game, and you're living in the matrix, 
and live this game the best that you can. For if you are able to think about that very thought, what is reality, then reality is yours. And not in a postmodernism sense, but in the most beautiful, prolific sense, that it is a gift. It is a gift. This isn't a game. So love. And if you will, pray to Jesus. Pray to God. Just say hi. Maybe tell him that you're struggling. Try thanking him. Because I assure you, he is real. And he made all of this.